and welcome to Zamora Gaming. I am your host, Joe Zamora here, and I am here bringing you the next segment of our Pokemon Egg Lock. Uh, as you can see, I was spamming through the team members here. We have Shelly the Shiny Shellos. Uh, we have Edward Scissorhands. We have Alice. We have Lone Wolf. Balsam. And we have Champ. Our Charmeleon. <clears throat> so, if anyone is new here, please leave a like. Follow, for sure. And share if you can. And if... Uh, you normally are here please leave a like and a share that would be much appreciated and we're going to go ahead and continue on with our journey here as you remember we uh, did as much as we could in the Isle of Armor I think yeah and uh, we unlocked a few new Pokemon for ourselves um, sure we did which ones were they? Maybe I didn't hatch them. Could have swear I hatched some though. Let's see. Okay, so we didn't hatch any. So that means we have a bunch of eggs to hatch today. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and just take on the gym. And I guess after the gym, we'll go ahead and hatch a bunch of eggs. So we'll get all those ready. So let's go ahead and move them over here already. Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll choose which ones go in which slot in a second. But I think we have just enough eggs. No, we're one short. But we should be close. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to go ahead and go with this egg for Cramorant. This egg for the Cubone. Yes, Nares, Balsam is still here. Uh, this egg for Lillipup. This is just so we can remember the levels. We'll do Mianfu for that one. Uh, Torkoal. Yeah, screw it. These for these. And then we're one egg short, so I'm sure we'll get eggs for those eventually. No, uh, I'm gonna swap it. So Dunsparce for that egg and slow poke for this one. Alright, so for now we have our eggs ready to hatch. So after we beat this gym, we will get everyone ready and raring to go for that. And for this gym, it's a ghost type gym, so I think Edward will do very well here. So I'm gonna stick with that. Let the journey continue. <clears throat> I think we already got the ball from this guy. Oh no, he gave us the heavy ball. Need a strong sack to carry that ball. It's heavy. Alright, now let's go ahead and get to this guy. And he tells us about the Pokemon Gym Challenge. And we are ready to take it on. Number 43. Do your best. I definitely will. Oh, Jeremy, you're about to figure out how the ghost gym looks. And welcome. Please leave a like, follow, and subscribe, and uh, share if you can. So I kind of really like this gym solely for the fact that it's a teacup ride. <laughs> The whole gym's a teacup ride. It's a giant teacup ride, and that's one of my favorite rides when I was younger. To complete the mission, you'll need to ride in one of the cups and blah 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 and avoid the obstacles and do not die. Yes, sir, Mr. Sir, sir. You got it. 
Oof. All right, so time to get dizzy. Let's go. Okay, easy enough. Dang it, I'm overdoing it. Go this way. Dong, dong, dong. Do gong, gong, gong. Finish! Just like Bayes. Is Bayes like this? Could have swore it was different. But then again, it's been so long, I haven't, um, I haven't actually replayed. Sorry about that. <clears throat> My niece is texting me. But, for now, we have this pump kaboo to deal with. Whew, excuse me. And we're going to go ahead and beat this up. Like a wet-ass Pokemon. <laughs> Even though it's a ghost type. But, you know, that's not how the song goes. Oh. Well, I guess I have to relook at the fighting gym because I don't remember it being the teacup ride. Hmm. Volt switch? Nah, I'm going to stick with our physical attacking move. And Phantom can get beat up as well. And also, guys, I would like to, um... I would like to ask for y'all to try to get me a follower. Try to send a link to a friend and ask them to help me out. We are 30, 30 followers short of our goal. So if we can reach that goal, it'd be very amazing for everybody. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get rid of water poles for muddy water. The mischance chance sucks, but you know, the power is there. And I'm pretty sure we'll get scald soon. And this dude's ready for tr uh, Halloween because he has another pump kaboo. And it can learn the move trick or treat. Ooh, this one's fat. Look at that. And down goes the pump kaboo with just enough hits from that beat up attack. Everyone's gaining levels except Edward. I need Edward to get to level 40 as soon as possible. I'm trying to get that Ponyard. I mean, uh, Bisharp. Go! Let's see if we can go without hitting anything. Oh, we had to hit this one, right? Oh, man. This one. Oh, no. We're hitting things. Oh well, we got close enough. Gordy's mom? Um, I don't think I remember who that is. Ooh, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, you keep coming. And coming I will do for the rest of my life. You will never stop me. I'm the Pokemon Master of the World. And she got that fat ass Corsola on that side. She's got that fac. Beat it up! Oh man, I don't think six beat ups is gonna be enough. Oh, what it might with the weak armor. Ooh, and the weak armor is killing it. Well, beat up is killing it due to the weak armor. Let's get it. 
Oh, so that's interesting. So the rock type gym leader is the son of the ice type gym leader. That's interesting. That's kind of like uh, the dad from Platinum being steel type and the son being a rock type. One's at a disadvantage. Screw you, Dad. I know what Pokemon trainer I want to be. Go! Alright, so we gotta avoid this. Dang. Now we gotta come. Oh, no, we gotta go the other way. Damn it. The Claw! The Claw is trying to destroy us. Fast you go, fast you go, fast you go, yeah! Watch, watch this. Doom, 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 doom. And we have completed the thing. We just gotta fight one more gym trainer. And welcome, whoever's watching. Please do like, follow if you will to support the channel, and share if you can. All right, now we got. Gym Trainer Roy. He's gonna send out a hunter. Haunt, 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 hunter. You know, I got in trouble for drawing this Pokemon in elementary school. Um, so I drew it because I used to draw Pokemon when I was younger. And uh, the principal walked by, and I had a friend named Hunter. So, she thought I drew him looking like this, because obviously, I guess she didn't know what Pokemon was, right? So, I was just like, mm, no, I wasn't making fun of anybody. I was just drawing a Pokemon. And she got mad and sent me to the principal's office. <clears throat> and this was before the internet, so I couldn't just Google it and be like, see? Look, but luckily I had my uh, Pokemon Pokedex book on me and I pulled it out and I was like, it's a Pokemon. Look, it's a cartoon from a book. So I showed her all the Pokemon and then I showed her where Haunter was in between Ghastly and Gengar and she was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I thought you were trying to make fun of somebody. And blah, blah, blah. I was like, well, see if you would fucking listen. No, I didn't say all that. But yeah, basically, I was just like, oh, okay, that's fine. I mean, I just didn't want to get in trouble. So, giving you the reason why. Ooh, and Phantom Force does nothing. Not very effective. But yeah, that was the story of me in, like, what, I think, maybe second grade? First or second? Getting in trouble for drawing Pokemon. Hmm, I wonder what uh, level... <clears throat> excuse me. I wonder what level Bishop was Ponyard actually evolves. Could have swore it was 40, but now I'm thinking 35. I mean, all my other Pokemon are going to level up, so it'd be nice. I'm looking for the Lepa Berry. No, I have one. Do I have... Ethers? Okay, cool. I have one Max Ether. <laughs> Melanie's a MILF. Yeah, a lot of people think so. I mean, I'm sure you've seen fan art of it. Interesting, interesting, interesting fan art. Alright, we officially completed the ghost mission. And now, we are here to face the ultimate test. Do you want to be a master of Pokemon? Ponyo does not evolve at level 52. I will slap my mama if that's the case. Mm. 
Let's see here. Oh my god, it is level 52. Why did I think it was something else? And of course, I wouldn't slap my mama, so. But that's ridiculous. How's it level, level 52? I guess we're going to need to find a new steel dark type. Because uh, I don't think we even get that high a level. Until like very, very late game. So make sure you wear your mask. And we're going to smack this thing up. With a beat up. All right, leave a like and a follow for that one. We took down your mask with one, well, technically five hits, but one turn. Okay, Mimikyu beat up is definitely going to come in handy here. So here we go. Multi attack move slash does. N oh my gosh. Did more than I thought it would. Well, we beat up one for the disguise, and then we get six more, uh, five more turns. Sorry, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. This mimic you seems pretty freaking bulky. But yeah, guys, uh, I might end up making a switch with Ponyard for another Pokemon, just due to the fact that its evolution is so high. Ooh, and it baby doll eyed me. So this one might take it out, but then I'm pretty much hindered useless against the next Pokemon that comes out. Just because my attack is going to be so lowered. So I guess I could go to Shelly. Oh no, wait, it's Curse. Yeah, let's go to Shelly. Only because... um. Our special defense is really high. Hey, Jeffrey. Welcome to the stream, man. Leave a like and a follow if you would. And share where you can. Okay, this is an in-game Cursula, right? So, I don't think it would have energy ball. I don't think it gets energy ball. But if it does, I hope it doesn't have it here. All right, so we lower the accuracy, and it goes for curse. So it's going to cut its own HP in half to inflict damage on us at the end of every turn. And it's actually kind of busted, because it's like 25% each turn. Okay, so a hex plus... Um... <clears throat> Aftershocks effects is not going to be nice to us. So we're going to switch back out to Ponyard here. Let's go, Edward! And it goes for another Hex, which is fine. Whoa, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. So let's go ahead and heal up here. All right. So far, so good. Goes for another hex, which is fine. Wow, that fucking damage. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's heal up again. I hope it goes for a different move. Okay, it does just under half damage. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the beat up here. And Cursula goes down. No, we're not going to learn Slash. We're not a guitar player. We don't need Slash. And we have the Dynamaxing Gengar here. 
But we're gigantamaxing, really. So we're going to go ahead and go to Alice. Because it's the only one with the dark type move that's not almost dead. And I feel like it pretty much take a good hit. My very last Pokemon, how lonely, how frightening. Alistair sent out Gengar. Holy fucking shit. That thing is a monster. What will Challenger Joe do here? Honestly, guys, I don't know. Gengar, Gigantamax now. Go, 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 go. And he throws the Pokemon behind him. And Alistair has Dynam or Gigantamax as Gengar! Level 36 Gigantamax on the field. Will Joe Dynamax here? Oh. And it appears so! Joe is Dynamaxing that friend ball, uh, Luxury. And a beautiful big lion animal that thing is. Okay. Max darkness comes off. Let's see how that hits us. Not at all. Hell yeah, Alice. Okay. That's a little issue. Our special defense drops. But... Our Max Darkness does a hell of a lot more than his does. We're going to go for it again. Judging from the first one, we should take this one well. And we do. And thanks to Alice, we defeat the Ghost Type Gym Leader. With that Max Darkness. <clears throat> We take down Gengar. Hold on. I need water. Excuse me. Welcome back, everybody. I am back. Here we go. We just took down the Gengar, and Alice is our savior. You defeated Gym Leader Alistair. Oh no! I'm a failure! Yeah, Alistair, that's right. I'm a fucking boss, man. <clears throat> Crumbs, that was ace. Here's a ghost gym badge. Yeah, Jeremy, your Luxray has been doing the work right now. You have obtained your fourth gym badge. Gym badge. Gym badge. Now, you can go ahead and step outside and be bothered by a bunch of long cutscene. Oh, and we do get the ghost uniform. Uh, Bawork? Bawork? Bow York, York, York? Oh, guess what, guys? I just got my niece. Uh, Pokemon. I just got her a Switch with Pokemon on it. And I think she's loving it right now. So, hopefully that's a continuing theme. So, I can have a niece that likes Pokemon. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. Ooh, piece of candy. Max survived these nuts. Hey, look. Hippies were here. Destroy it. Destroy it all. We're going to find those wishing stars. Oh, wait. Yeah, he says gay voice. That's right. We've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to please him. Kuparaja, if you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, you shall feel grateful for this chance to help him. Find the wishing stars! Uh, nigga. Dude, what? Oh my, you again. So, you think that you can start collecting? 
Wishing stars now and get in the chairman's favor? I don't think so. That's my dick. You cannot have it. So, Bede is gonna challenge us so we can stop him from destroying the mural. And of course, we've got Edward to start off. Unintentionally, by the way. And we're gonna go ahead and beat up this Duosian because he doesn't deserve to be in our light of sight right now. And Duosian goes down. So, simple enough. We're gonna beat, 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 beat it up. Beat, beat it up. Beat, beat it up. Gonna beat, beat, beat it up like Bead likes it done. Edward goes to level 36. Hatrim is coming in. But that doesn't bother us because it's not fair type yet. So we can go ahead and beat that thing up too. Beat that ass up. Oh, no, 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 no. Beat that ass up. No, 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 no. Beat that ass up. No, 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 no. Beat that ass up. Hatrim is going down. I think this is five. Yep, and it goes down. Doesn't even need all six. Just five. Five will do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. And we have the chance to gain Misty Terrain. I don't see... <sighs> Excuse me. I don't think it's necessary. So we're just going to go ahead and skip it. And Pete is about to send out one of the prettiest Pokemon in the world. Ponyta. And we're going to beat it up. Of course it's faster. But beat up is going to take you out. And down goes Ponyta. Beep, 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 beat that ass up. Ooh, we're going to have ourselves a champ. A Charizard champ. Right after this battle. Evolution time. Here I come. I'm going to feel. I don't know what's come. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Got the Rita comes in and gets killed by Play Rough. Oh, it doesn't. <clears throat> it actually lives it. And it hits us with the side beam, but doesn't do enough damage. So we're going to go ahead and go for Excel Rock and take this thing out. <sighs> we do. Lone Wolf taking out these chumps like nobody's business. This has to be some kind of a steak. I demand a do-over. My God. <sighs> Charmeleon. Charmeleon is about to evolve here. Let's all watch in awe as we watch the most amazing, most beautiful, most awesome, most powerful Pokemon on the screen. Charizard. Charizard, learning Air Slash, standing at five foot seven, two hundred and sixty-five pounds. Charizard, and we'll go ahead and get rid of Slash. <laughs> Like, where's my Starbucks? Yeah. But why? How can this be, Starbucks? How could someone like you get out of my way? Ah! Shut up, you dumb cunt. Jesus Christ, no better word for you other than that. And then they're arguing about, oh, you're going to destroy public property? Yeah, for the chairman. And he's like, nah, dude, what? What's the matter with you? Go back to school or something, you stupid bitch. Don't destroy public property for your, for your own selfish needs. You must be joking, right? You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge? You endorsed me, you prick. I'm doing this for you. 
Yeah, well, whether it's for me or not, you'll suck a dick. He wanted that big old meaty chairman schmeat. Ah, oh, sorry, young Joe. I'm sorry about this. He didn't mean that. Oh, well. So, so much for that. <clears throat> because regardless, damage already done. <sighs> damage already done and took it down anyway. A Pokemon? Yeah, two Pokemon that were dope as fuck. Oh my god. Sonya, shut up. I don't give a damn about this little story that means nothing to me. Ooh. Sword Pokemon. Shield Pokemon. Eat a dick, Sonya. I just want to move on and catch more Pokemon. I wonder if I have enough uh, candies to level these Pokemon up anyway. I guess we'll find out right now because we're going to hatch these eggs. Why do I keep doing that? I don't need to go in there. Alright guys. Well, Nares, you kind of know what these Pokemon are going to be. But what do y'all think we'll hatch from these eggs? All right, we'll go in order here. Look at this beautiful beast. Don't you just want to get under his wings and hug him? She's a maniac, a maniac on the floor. And he's riding bikes like he never has before. He wants to hatch these eggs every way he can. I didn't know Zacian was a female. <laughs> Alright, let's see what egg number one is. Ooh, it's an Iggly Buff. Iggly Buff. Iggly Iggly. Iggly Buff. So, Iggly Buff is our next Pokemon. I should have named it something. My bad. I'll nickname it. Or if y'all want, y'all can nickname it. Not to, I'll change the name later. Hopefully it doesn't take 20 episodes like it normally does. Oh boy. Here comes egg number two. Ooh. Now we have a Charizard replacement if Charizard ever goes down. Thanks, Jeremy. It's actually from Glitch City. So if you want to check her out on YouTube, all of her music is free to use as long as you try to promote her. And this fledgling will be named... I'm unoriginal. And I know it's a boy, but I'm going to name it Gil anyways. I don't even know if it has Gil wings, but... I'm nicknaming it that. Ooh, a clauncher. Or, yeah, clauncher. That's cool. And it evolves into a claw wincher. Claw witzer. Stupid me. Yeah, I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it, 
I'm gonna name it one shot. One shot, one kill. And if it has Mega Launcher, oh boy, it's gonna be one shot in everything. Oh, piece of candy. What's this gonna be? Ew, it's a ghastly. Ghastly. And I'm gonna go ahead and name it Nappy. It's a, another YouTuber. Probably shouldn't name it Nappy because of what he got caught doing, but. I mean, it's a very fitting nickname. He's his uh, choice of character was a Gengar, <clears throat> so it'll eventually be a Gengar. And that's pretty much it. Don't read too much into it. All right, let's see. Ooh, a right on. That could be a potential exchange for a uh... poniard. And this one's going to be nicknamed Horny Mike. If y'all watch, um, what's that channel called? The one with all the car shows on it. There's a guy named Horny Mike. He does uh, paint jobs. It's pretty cool. And they call him that because he likes to wear horns. Not because his dick is out 24-7. So get your minds out the gutter. All right, so level 20, 17, 15, 15, and 12. Let's go ahead and level them up there. Hopefully I have enough candies. I should. Two. All right, so 20. Learn hypnosis and mean look. Want some in payback, but we won't. Want some in spite, but we won't. Want some in curse, but we won't. <clears throat> Let's just give one the ugly buff. Okay, perfect. Nah, not sweet kiss. Disarming voice, yes. Okay, ugly buff. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna give them all one medium candy. I'm not gonna focus on trying to make it perfect. Gimber, uh, Gimber, quick attack and Ember. Want some in flail, but we won't do that one. All right, 13. That's close to 12, right? And then one to one shot. And that's close to 12 too, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And those are our Pokemon for right there. So let's go ahead and put them in the PC box for now. And again, if y'all want to um, give me nicknames for the Iggly buff, I will take it and give it to them. Dusty, welcome to the stream. I will get eggs from you in a little while. All these other Pokemon level tw 12, so. <clears throat> like I said, I'll just give them a medium candy and whatever happens, happens. But I will need some more eggs after I stream to the uh, stream this one. Because we got a lot more encounters coming up. Yes, and I do have badges I need to make. I haven't made them yet, but I will make them here in a second. I just need those, uh, what do you call them? I need those sets again. I don't remember how far up they were. We're hatching more eggs and hopefully one shines. 
yeah, I want a shiny, yeah, I want a shiny, yeah, I want a shiny, what will it be? Go well, imagine a shiny, a shiny onyx, and then we can trade it and get a shiny Steelix, and it can replace Ponyard, because why not? Shiny Steelix, come on now. That'd be fucking dope. Not you're a fucking dope. That would be fucking dope. I'm telling you, dude, that'd be dope as shit. Ooh, I see that. You see that? You see that over there? I'm gonna nickname this thing. Let's see. I'm gonna nickname it Blade. All right, so we got a C dot now. What else we got? Ooh, a Rowlet. That's a cool Pokemon right there. And I'm going to nickname it uh, Robin Hoot. Don't judge me. It's a good name. You'll steal it. I swear you will. Robin Hoot. And I know it's a girl, but Robin's a girl's name too. Contrary to popular belief, Robin Hood's name was actually Jeff. Oh, and that's a... Uh, that's okay. That's a duplicate. That's fine. Ooh, piece of candy. Is that it? Is that all of them? Oh, no. We still got one more egg to go. It's taking a while, so it must be a good one. Come on, eggy egg. What you got? Ooh, an Electrite. That's actually a good substitute for if anything happens to Alice. And we'll nickname this one. Fuck it. A regular girl named like Alice. Hannah. It's the best of both worlds. I'm just kidding. I won't sing that song anymore. Don't, don't, don't. Alright, so we got a bunch of new Pokemon here. And honestly, I don't see one that I would switch out with, uh... With Ponyard, so we're gonna stick with Ponyard for now. Um, this song is... Yeah, it's the Lugia Song Remix. I love this one. I used it for most of my uh, draft league battles back in the day before we had the switch. And again, I'm just going to give these a medium candy. If it goes over the 12 or whatever, it goes over. I mean, most of these Pokemon should be level um, 13 by now anyway. I mean, like 30 now anyway, so. Mega Drain, yes, please. Ooh, and we have an evolution. Yeah, all these songs are kind of remixes of, like, old Pokemon things. Like, we have, uh... Ruby and Sapphire Victory Road Remix. Uh, Sun and Moon Team Skull Leader Remix. They're all remixes. And I think this one was also one of my favorites right here. Takes a minute, but it'll pop up. Yeah, I'll probably raid a little bit tomorrow on stream. 
So tomorrow will kind of be like a chill out day. We'll stream. We'll uh, we'll receive eggs tomorrow, and you know stuff like that. Tomorrow is gonna be a chill day. So if anyone wants to send in eggs tomorrow or anything, I'll be doing that and raiding, of course, so we can all get those candies. Hopefully y'all can raid and I'll join y'all's because uh, my raids are going to suck since I only got four gems. So the candies won't be that good. Uh, forget an old move. Let's go ahead and get rid of tackle. But yeah, I'd be down to raid. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, Robin Hoot learned Shadow Sneak? I didn't know that. Must be new. Because back in uh, Sun and Moon, I don't think it learned Shadow Sneak. Uh, leafage gets replaced with Razor's Leaf. No, this isn't one of the ones I liked. Let me see if I can find the one I liked. <clears throat> I think it was this one. No, not that one. Where was it? Maybe it is this one. Oh, I don't think I have that one. The one I, I've been looking for on my on my game. So that's my bed. I mean, I can always go back and get it. Oh, why did I waste it on that? Plancha wasn't supposed to be leveled up. That's a duplicate. Hannah. Oh, Hannah. Forget an attack for quick attack. And let's get tackle out of there. All right, and our Pokemon are pretty much set there. And we'll go ahead and give them a quick look and see. A look, sorry. So we had eight Pokemon. We still need one replacement for Squirtle. And we need a duplicate for Clauncher, Claw Witcher. Yeah, Clauncher. It's not a Claw Witcher yet. And yes, I'm going to keep this Kubfu. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm not going to move it yet. But yeah, that's mine for my Pokemon thing. For my living decks. All right, let's go ahead and get Alice over here. All right, Dusty, that's all good. I'll try to figure something out. All right, let's see. All of them are good. Maybe I'll stream a little later than usual tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I will get those eggs from you tonight. All right, Claw Witzer. I mean, Claw. I don't know why I keep saying that. But yeah, we need to find a replacement for Squirtle. And then, yeah. So let's go ahead and continue on real quick and try to get some more encounters so we can use those eggs later on. Nine eggs works. Ooh, so you push these things to get the bright. Oh, and we're going to get ourselves a little encounter here. With the Impidimp. And let's go ahead and throw a quick ball. Probably make it easier to get this Impidimp. Do 
Yes, and it works. Finally, I don't look like an idiot. Whew. And I think we get to level 40 at this gym. So yeah, guys, I'm not saying you have to, but if y'all like to help me out, y'all can send in some steel types so I can find a replacement for this pawn you're Ooh, Milkery. Edward! Edward Eard! Metal Claw. Take this thing out. Beautiful hit. Ooh, and we get the attack boost. What else you got that you want to die? Shenotic? Don't mind if I do. Ponyu's like, you're not replacing me. Down goes Shenotic as well. Fully evolved Pokemon. Ain't got shit on me. No, sp no attack drop. No, I mean, no attack boost on that one. But still coming in handy here. Beat up. Ooh. One almost took it all the way out. We beat the cook. What you gonna do about it? Alright. Well, guys, it's coming up on the hour mark. <clears throat> we will be stopping the stream at the hour mark. Um, but we got about seven more minutes, so don't worry. Seven more minutes of beauty and fun. I just want to give a quick reminder to everyone that's watching. Please leave a like and a follow. We're trying to get ourselves to 100 followers here on Facebook. We are 30 short of that mark. And it'd be really great if we can get there. If you have friends who like Pokemon, please turn them onto this channel. And it would help us out immensely. And we got to give a shine to uh, two favorites right here. And then Charizard's freshly evolved and we haven't used him yet. So let's go ahead and give him some screen time. And here we go. Two of the most beautiful, strongest Pokemon ever to cre be created in this world. Not those two. They suck. Talking about these two champ and lone wolf i wouldn't want to see that scene of orange attacking at me that's all i'm saying so we're gonna air slash the curlia and we're gonna excel rock the nine tails Ooh, beautiful one hit ko no dusty there my Pokemon. <laughs> oh yeah, the eggs came from you. But they're mine. Oh, yeah, of course this egg came from you. The, it, the t air slash mist. I didn't want you to send me your RNG, Dusty. I just wanted you to send me your eggs. So, we're going to go ahead and Hit it with an Excel Rock and it takes it out. And down goes their, our opponents there. Charizard and Lycanroc defeated them handsomely. Yeah, my Charizards are always black. But that's because I can name them Undertaker. And it's a beautiful name. Fits so perfectly. Snore. Man, my dad used to snore like a freaking maniac. There was a funny story that um when I was I think it was before I was born. Yeah, I like the blue wolf look better. But that's just me. But um 
Yeah, I have a story that uh, apparently when I was, either I was very little or I was before I was born, um, my parents used to live in an apartment complex. And they lived on the first floor and the the room was like, the, win- the room windows were like right there next to the front door. And my dad, he snores loud, like extremely loud. And people would come up to the front door and ask my mom if a bear lived there. <laughs> like, that's how loud he would snore. So, that's it's fucking insane. Imagine how much damage he would do. Alright, Rock Slide. I think we're going to stick with Excel Rock. I'm pretty much good with that. And Didi comes in. And we're going to go ahead and just Excel Rock this thing to death as well. Eh, maybe uh, Rock Slide would have been a better choice since it hits harder. But eh, until, you know, Excel Rock will do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. There's no mischance. It's always first. I can't go wrong with it. Judge Judy is down. All right, making our way through the forest, uh, getting lost. What the fuck's going on? All right, let's go this way. I can't see anything. Ah, now it's too bright. Light up my life, I'm saying. Oh yeah, that's true too. Rock Slide doesn't benefit from Tough Claws because it's not a direct attack. Do you think we're going to get like radioactive poisoning from these mushrooms? I mean, they're giving off light. They're bright as hell. Ooh. Oh wait, that's the front. Why well, is only one pink one? Discrimination. No, no, no. Whew. Stay away from me. What the hell? How do I get over there? I don't know where I'm going, but I know where I've been. And it's not where I need to go, that's for damn sure. One can only hope. Yeah. Well, you know. It's better to do than hope. I can't get up there. How do I get up there? I don't remember how to get up there. Somebody help me, please. Oh, here we go. I'm stupid. And it's a Morgrim. It's Morgan. We were lost. We aren't lost. We just don't know where we are. Play rough. Kills the Morgrim. Oh, but yeah, I was saying. Again, guys, I appreciate everyone for watching. Uh, we're about to conclude the stream. Um, I just would like everyone to leave a like, leave a follow if you haven't, if you're enjoying the content especially, um, share if you can to help out the stream, and if you've already followed, try sharing the link with one of your friends, and getting them to join us, we are 30 short of our goal for 100 follows, so if we can get to the 100 follows, that'd be very great for the channel, and I would be very much appreciative. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say on that. Um, we finally made it out of the the, the forest. Uh, and next episode, we will probably take on the gym. But for sure, we're just going to have a chill-out session with, uh, you know, grabbing eggs from you guys if y'all want to sh- uh, send some in. And, uh... 
also do some raids if y'all are up for it. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.